All right, guys, so it's day 36 of learning how to TIG weld aluminum. And today we're going to continue working on welding at a colder amp so I could get this bead profile at the edge. Once again, so I could get the coupler on my piping down there. And it has something to grip on. So I'm going to be working on that today. Let's see how that goes. All right, these are the results so far at 90 amps. Um, it's a little thick, yeah, and then it started to get a little hot here. So I am gonna lower it, because it got hot pretty quick. So I'm gonna go down to about 75 amps now, and we'll see how that goes, guys. All right, so these are the results at 75. Once again, I can't do a straight line to save my life, apparently, if I'm not guiding against anything. But I did get the profile one and there is a little lip all around it. I'm gonna try it again on that piece right there. I uh, just wanna keep practicing stacking actual dimes because this looks like blobs still. So let's see how that one goes. All right, so after trying again, these are some of the results on this side that I got. Once again, I'm getting the profile that I want to now. The but it's too blobby, sticking out too much. And then on these sides, you're starting to see a little bit more dimes and stuff, but not, not fully there. And then to be honest, the only thing I am happy about today's progress is being able to feed the wire a lot longer now. I mean, my stops and starts are a little bit longer now. I'm able to do a bigger distance and I'm that's pretty happy about that. And then I got the profile that I want, like I said. There's a lip on it. We just gotta work on getting them straight and consistent. That is the next task. But thank you guys for following my progress.